Welcome to another Bit by Bit AI tutorial. In this episode, we're demystifying the process of installing Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11 on your Windows machine. No jargon, just an easy, friendly walkthrough. And remember, if you encounter any tech glitches, visit the official Stable Diffusion website. The link is in the description below. Ready to dive in? Let's do this. First things first, you'll need Python 3.10.6. Why this specific version, you ask? Well, newer versions may sometimes lead to setup errors. Trust us, we're saving you a headache here. So, scroll down on the official Python website and click on Windows Installer 64-bit. This is the version we recommend. Download and install it, and you're good to go. Next up is Git for Windows. You'll find the download link in our description. Hit the prominent download button, run the installer, and simply follow the on-screen instructions, easy PC. With the preliminaries out of the way, we are ready for the big one, Automatic 11.11. Head over to its GitHub page and scroll down to the Automatic Installation on Windows section. Copy starting from the git clone command without the last trailing period, then open your command prompt and paste it in. Hit enter and after a short while, voila! You'll see a new folder sprout up on your C drive. This is where the magic happens. Now, we need a model to work with. We suggest the Stable Diffusion 1.5 model, which you can download from the Hugging Face website. Again, link in the description. Once downloaded, pop it into the models folder under Stable Diffusion. It's a good idea to keep the original name so you can easily identify the version later. Time to tweak some settings. Navigate to the web UI user.bat file, right click, and select edit. You'll need to add your Python path here. We'll show you how. Search for Python in your start menu, and select open file location. This leads to a shortcut, so right click again, and select open file location. Now, you've found the actual Python file location. Hold down the shift key plus right click once more, select copy as path and paste this path into your web UI user.bat file. In the same file, add git pull between set command arcs and call web UI. This nifty trick ensures automatic 11.11 updates every time you start it. Save, close, and double click on web UI user.bat. Be patient, this process takes a bit of time. Once done, you'll see a URL listed in the command window. Copy it, and paste it into your web browser. You're almost there. On the Stable Diffusion page that loads, select 1.5 as your checkpoint. Then, click on Extensions, Available, and Load From. This will give you various extensions for Automatic 11.11. We recommend installing the Diffforum extension, which is perfect for rendering videos. And then navigate to Settings and click on Reload UI. You'll now see the Diffforum tab and can create videos. Now that you've got Stable Diffusion up and running, let's get into some specifics. Like on the TXT2 IMG tab, rendering times can vary depending on your hardware. For instance, a high-end graphics card like the RTX 3060 laptop takes around 15 seconds to render a 512 by 512 pixels image of a cat. Don't fret if you have an older card, there are some handy tips on the Stable Diffusion wiki linked below to help optimize your settings. Scroll down and find low VRAM video cards, then copy the command you need or as shown here. Next, let's go back to the web UI user.bat file. Right click on it, select edit, and you can enter or paste additional command line arguments. This is especially useful if you are working with lower RAM video cards. Just check out the wiki for some other suggestions. Remember, the command window must remain open while you are using stable diffusion. Closing it will shut down the program, and we don't want that, do we? Let's say you want to upscale an image. All you need to do is click Send to Extra. Bear in mind, there might be some kinks with the new Automatic 11.11 update as it gears up for the Stable Diffusion 2 version. If you notice something off, like LDSR is not working, it could be a temporary hiccup. Also, when you click on these processes, it might download additional files for upscale models so give it some time. 
You can also download models 1.4 and 1.4 fully MA if you want more options. And there you have it. That's your comprehensive guide to installing and running Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 on your Windows 10 machine. If you found this helpful, do us a favor and hit that like button. Share this video with your fellow tech wizards and subscribe to our channel for more handy AI tutorials. For more exclusive AI insights, remember to sign up for our email list over at linktr.e slash bit by bit AI. Until next time, keep exploring the world of AI, bit by bit.